What's going on, guys? It's Jimmy here. Welcome to our daily show where we discuss everything going on here in our country, in Washington, D.C., and everything you need to know about on a daily basis. Money, investing, the stock market, the fourth stimulus package update, stimulus check update, and everything going on here in our country. If you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel yet, make sure to click the subscribe button down below. New videos come out here every day at 10 a.m., 3 p.m., and 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I will keep you up to date here with everything as you need to know about it here. And also, thank you so much for hitting the like button for us down below. We got a lot to talk about here, so let's jump right in. The, quote, Freedom Convoy movement, uh, the blockade of truckers on the Canadian-U.S. border has been cleared. As you can see here, the Canadian government and Prime Minister Justin Trudeau has invoked the Emergency Act due to blockades and a protest over COVID-19 measures. Prime Minister Justin Trudeau from Canada has now cleared the bridges and the border from U.S. to Canada, and they had made several arrests and towed the trucks that were still there. Yeah, as of yesterday, they have now officially cleared this. Here's the details. Yeah, you could see there, there was uh, still quite a lot of people there. And uh, the, they had an emergency court order uh, that was made by a judge in Canada that gave them the authority and this emergency powers by Justin Trudeau um, dueling um, both of these orders that um, gave them the authority, I guess, to do this. Yeah, so yesterday, Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau invoked emergency powers of his office in an effort to end the ongoing trucker antivirus vaccine protest, the Associated Press reported. By evoking Canada's emergency acts, which allows the federal government broad powers to restore order, Trudeau allows the use of military power to disrupt the protest. Canada's official also threatened to tow away vehicles, which they did, at the protest to keep essential services running, freeze truckers' personal and corporate bank accounts, and suspend the insurance on their rigs, according to the AP. Deputy Prime Minister Krista Freeland said at a news conference that the government will broaden its anti-money laundering regulation in hopes to target crowdfunding sites that are being used to support the protest and said, quote, consider yourself warned, send your rigs home. The Ambassador Bridge was reopened after authorities arrested a dozen demonstrators causing the road blockage. Trudeau did not, indicated, did not indicate when the new protest crackdowns will begin but but said the emergency measures will be will be time limited geographically targeted as well as reasonable and proportionate to the threats they are meant to address also up to 30 protesters were detained and vehicles near the bridge were towed wow also authorities in the US say that Next, this could be happening here in the U.S. as um, plans on online sites have mentioned that this could be coming next to the U.S. Let me know your thoughts here in the comments. Do you think that this will deter this from happening in the U.S. or do you think that this will uh, just happen next here in the U.S.? Let me know your thoughts here in the comments. There's been a lot of people on both sides of this, you know, and um, I don't know. What do you think? Do you think this, this will continue? I will keep you up to date. One of the provisions in the Build Back Better stimulus package that is kind of uh, in limbo here, as the Build Back Better stimulus package is in limbo as well, they're probably going to rebrand it, rename it, and multiple different provisions here are really in limbo. We're going to decide here where they're going to decide um, and Senator Joe Manchin and basically all the senators are going to have to negotiate what might make it in this next stimulus package. Um, one of the provisions was affordable housing. 
they were going to build up to $200 billion in affordable housing across the country. Well, uh, that is kind of one of the things here in question. Is that going to make it here in the next stimulus package? Yeah, so that's that's kind of something that uh, hasn't gotten a lot of coverage here lately and does kind of make us wonder here, will that even be built? And when you look at this uh, recent list here of where rent is rising the most, yeah, um, <laughs> But yeah, when you look at some some a lot of these different areas where Florida, New Jersey, New York, rents rising thirty percent, a lot of other states rising twenty percent, fifteen percent, twenty five percent. That's insane. That's insane. And um, affordable housing being built across the country could uh, make a dent in this. Imagine affordable housing being built by the billions, hundreds of billions of dollars, and um, being rent controlled where the rent wouldn't rise or maybe only rise 2 or 3% a year just to basically keep up uh, with you know rising utility costs or something like that, um, just to basically pay for, you know, just to keep up with the uh, you know cost of utilities or something like that. Um, that is something that was in the Build Back Better package that could be passed here or could not be passed. But a lot of people are struggling with uh, costs like this. I mean, you look at the cost of rent rising in all these different places. It's insane. It's really insane. And uh, this is just uh, yet another thing here that um, the middle and lower middle and low income classes here are just really struggling with here. If you're on fixed income, if you're a senior, if you're on low income, or if you have children and you're not getting those child tax credit payments anymore, if you're in any of those categories, this is where it hurts you the most. This is where it hurts you the most. And this is why 63% of Americans right now are paycheck to paycheck or behind on their bills. And, uh, yeah, this is where it's just uh, really hitting home the most. And this is where uh, you kind of got to wonder here when you when you see Congress with uh, $800 billion in stimulus money that's already been approved, right? Kind of makes you wonder. And that's why my, that's why my tweet here that I sent out to, to Congress here and the President of the United States and multiple different senators and um, representatives and congressmen here that says $800 billion of stimulus money is already approved and is just sitting here from Stimulus Package 1, Stimulus Package 2, and Stimulus Package 3. This is money approved underneath former President Donald Trump and Biden. This is money approved underneath Republicans and underneath Democrats, okay? Um, this is money that is already appropriated. This money, as you can see here, you, you can easily use half of this money to send out a forced stimulus check out to people in need now. This will not add to the debt, the national debt, or add to inflation because it's already been appropriated. This money has already been theoretically added to the debt. It's already been theoretically added to the inflation because it's already been printed per se, okay? It's already been added to both of those things, okay? It's, it's already been printed. Okay, if you kind of understand how that's work, it's it's already been printed, it's already been allocated, it's already been approved. All those things are already done. It's already sitting in an account, and the government has it. Okay, and um, I mean, if you know anything about uh, interest, is if it's just sitting in a bank account, it's earning it's earning like zero point zero five percent. So the government's not really earning any money on it of interest, okay? Uh, if, if, the if the government even earns money on its own money, right? Uh, if the government even earns interest on its own money, right? So the reality of it is here is they need to decide who to send this out to. It's $800 billion of stimulus money. And 63% of Americans are living paycheck to paycheck or are behind on bills right now. They can literally just... Send this out to Americans that are behind on bills, 
low income, middle income right now, they can send this out through an executive order and just reappropriate it. Or they can just have Congress just, you know, say, all right, let's just send this out um, as a stimulus check and just use the old stimulus money. We don't even have to pass a single dollar of new money. OK, so this won't add any new money to debt or inflation. Yeah, they won't need to spend a single dollar of new money. So everybody all concerned about inflation when it comes to providing for people. I get it. I'm concerned about inflation, too. But we have to help people now, right? What's One of the best ways to help people with inflation is to actually help them out, right? Let's give them something to, okay, if people can't afford food right now, help them out, right? And honestly, if you actually look right now, um, there's dozens and dozens and dozens of states that are actually giving extra SNAP benefits, right? So if you think about it, if people can't afford food, what do you do? You give them money for food. If people can't afford housing, what do you do? You give them money for housing. If people can't afford utilities and electric, you give them money for electric, right? If people can't afford anything, you give them money, you give them stimulus checks, Right. So I understand the whole like inflation thing. Right. But if there's eight hundred billion dollars of stimulus money that's already been approved, give it to the people who need it. It's stimulus money. Right. What else are they going to do with it? Eventually, they're going to figure out that they need to send it out. The longer they wait, it's just it's just hurting more and more people. So this is why they need to either send out an executive order and just reappropriate it. Now, remember, former President Donald Trump did basically this exact same thing. He did an executive order uh, that basically just reappropriated things, okay? Money that was already approved by Congress, which is what this $800 billion is. And he took this money, Trump did, uh, slightly different. He took uh, money that was from the disaster relief fund, billions and billions of dollars, and sent it out with the um, unemployment stimulus checks, okay? He sent out basically $1,800 worth of checks to millions and millions of Americans right before the 2020 election, okay? Biden can do the same thing, or if they don't want to do it through executive order for whatever reason, they can have Congress do it, okay? But regardless is that this money is already approved. It's from stimulus package one, stimulus package two, and stimulus package three. One and two are underneath Trump, three is underneath Biden. It's already approved. You can let me know your thoughts here. Um, but, I mean, we, we see all these different states giving help to their residents. They're doing stimulus checks, tax rebate checks, which is basically the same thing, giving a SNAP, extra SNAP benefits, pandemic benefits, pandemic EBT benefits, which is basically just giving back to their people because of the pandemic. Basically, no other reason why. Um, if it weren't for the pandemic, probably... 90% of those extra checks would not exist. So all these states realize that because of the pandemic, first of all, the extra SNAP benefits wouldn't exist for sure. The pandemic EBT benefits, the, the school assistance benefits wouldn't exist. It's literally called pandemic EBT. And all these state stimulus checks, 90% of those wouldn't exist either. So all these states are actually stepping up to the plate and saying, you know what? We realize that all of our residents, you know, a big chunk of our residents are hurting. And we're stepping to the plate, helping out our residents. A lot of them are putting income caps on it, or almost all of them, because they realize that, you know, we don't need to send, you know, stimulus checks out to people making, you know, six figures a year and stuff, right? Um, which makes sense. So the states are kind of stepping up and doing the right thing. Now, of course, we need to see all the states doing it, more states doing it. Now, I don't know if every single state has a surplus of money. Every single state did get a billion dollars or more from the third stimulus check package. So there is that. Um, but we need to see more and more um, governors step up to the plate and be more willing to give money back to their people. Um, and not to choose sides or anything, but kind of the governors in them just kind of speaking bluntly here and i kind of i think this is we all kind of know this here just by 
you know, generalization here, but kind of the, the governors who don't really kind of want to give back tend to be some of the Republican governors. And again, I'm not, I'm just kind of generalizing here, but I think we all kind of realize that here. And, but we are starting to see some of the Republican governors start to give back here um, in some of these forms. And um, some of them are doing it with tax cuts, which is kind of a way of giving back, whether it's a tax cut or it's a rebate, tax rebate check, which is the same thing as a stimulus check. Um, either way, they're giving back to their people. Some of them are considering uh, uh, fuel cuts, reducing the price of gas, which uh, I did a video on that. So that actually cost them uh, many, many millions of dollars, uh, hundreds of millions of dollars as well, which is a way of giving back to their residents as well. Because if, if you reduce the price of gas, that'll probably actually save you hundreds of dollars a year as well. And it costs the state hundreds of millions of dollars. So again, just a kind of another way of the state to give back, it does cost the state hundreds of millions of dollars. So regardless of what way the state ends up doing it, we are starting to see a lot of states kind of step up to the plate here in 2022. And remember, it's only February. It's only February, early February, middle February here. We're actually seeing a lot of different states kind of say, well, we have a lot of money here, billions of dollars, and we need to figure out what to do with it here. I'll kind of keep you up to date here as a lot of states are kind of uh, announcing this, figuring this out here. And uh, I need to do another video here on SNAP and pandemic EBT benefits, new uh, additions to um, more money coming here for that as well here soon. I'll keep you up to date on that here. Um, but we're actually seeing a lot of different kind of um, programs, stimulus checks, and uh, additional money coming from states here as well. Um, but we need the federal government to do this here as well. So don't forget to email, tweet, and call your senators and your representatives saying, listen, just like I did on Twitter, I'm going to continue to do that. Be a voice here for you guys as well. I see your guys' comments here every day. Uh, I'm going to continue to be a voice for you guys here on YouTube and reach out to senators and representatives here as well and the president's. Um, I, I see your guys' voice. I want to be a voice here, or I see your guys' comments. I want to be a voice here for you guys as well. Um, but don't forget, let's all be a voice here together. So let me know your thoughts here in the comments, and make sure to click the subscribe button down below if you haven't joined our um, YouTube channel as a subscriber. It's completely free to do so. It literally just takes two seconds. Click the subscribe button. This way you won't miss out on new videos that come out here every day at 10 a.m., 3 p.m., and 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. After subscribing, click the bell icon next to the subscribe button to get reminders on your device when we go live with new videos. And if you didn't see my last video, uh, click here to watch my most recent video. And my son was at the end of that video wishing you guys a happy Valentine's Day. You definitely want to see that if you haven't yet. So click there to watch my most recent video. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.